as it turns out, the center of the universe is only three and a half days away. And yes, I have been flying this heading for a full day now. Why do you ask? Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam, and today we're following a recommendation by Joko Engineering Help, who said this. So as you might have seen, I've been playing Starship Simulator, the demo, recently. If you haven't checked that out, it looks freaking awesome. Um, but today, uh, inspired by that, Joko wanted me to make a Starship. So here we are. Today, I'm going to be doing my best to uh, do a 3D CAD model of the Starship Enterprise, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. No bloody A, B, C, or D. Um, and I couldn't find a real CAD drawing, so to speak. I found something close. Maybe I didn't, I didn't look for that long. And I've basically gone in Photoshop and tried my best to measure everything out. Um, we are not going to be making not going to be designing this to scale we're going to be modeling this based on the scale to filming miniature sizes so the whole thing is not going to be 1200 feet long or something like that so it's still going to be a very large model um i don't know how much of the detail i'm going to do there's a lot of the detail that's going to be missing quite honestly um we're going to try to get the basic shape down and i'm going to see what i can do from that so without further ado let's get into it Okay, uh, this whole thing is not, I, it's not designed to be drawn in CAD, obviously. It's not a part that you would normally draw in CAD. So I'm not even sure where I want to start with this. I think we're just going to, so you're going to see me going over here measuring stuff a lot. I'm just going to do my, do my best. So we're going to do, um, a line on the XZ plane. Show ourselves normal to the plane. Um, and let's see how much of this we're going to be able to get in one sketch. So we're going to do the main body portion first. The, the drive section, if this were next generation. Um, where are we going to place the origin? That's a good question. I don't know. Some of these measurements I'm just going to guess. Um, the whole point of this video is just to have fun with it. So, so if I go like this and then like that and like that and then like that and then and then I want uh, shift A, I want a arc that is We'll just do that and then I'll do T for tangent. Oop, if I can click on that guy. There we go. All right. And then I want this vertical there. Oopsie. Again, we're just guessing on a lot of this stuff here. So that's, it's gonna happen. We're gonna have issues where, oh, we have equal size constraints that I don't want. Okay, nothing should be equal size yet. We might have stuff that ends up equal size later, but not, not yet. This whole piece, this whole thing's going to be absolutely massive compared to what it's supposed to be, actually. Yeah. And, and that's like 15. We're going to be doing a lot of guesswork here, guys. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, lots of guess work. I should get rid of that until I'm ready for that. 120. And then this depth here is like that. We'll go with like 30 maybe even maybe not even that much maybe like 20 that's probably closer um 
A lot of dimensioning here. Um, that upward bit's not a lot. That's like, that's like five. Yeah. And that is about the same as equals uh, that to that. There we go. And then finally, this upward one is probably like, that's 20, this one's like 30. 25? Yeah, and then it's like 40, 35 wide. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This bit needs to be longer because it's not really like where I really wanted it to go. And it was kind of just a guess, so we'll do like 200. Actually, we're just gonna leave that unmeasured yet right now. That's too, this distance is too much. So is this, I'm just kind of going off the, Okay, now I need a tangent arc that just barely goes up to like here. That is definitely arcs. Yeah. It's questionable whether it's tangent or not, but we're gonna say it is. Because I don't know why. Um. And then this basically is like that, that is tangent, this and that, I mean they're like barely above each other if, if that, okay, so like I'm happy with that, whatever that distance is, I'm happy with that, that's fine, alright, so now I really just want to do that and that. Yeah, there we go, fully defined. All right, we're almost there. This may not look like much, and that's that's because it isn't. But um, that's okay. We're you have no I know you know don't know where I'm at right now. We're getting there. I promise, it's okay. So it's going to be very clear in just a minute. We're about to the model I am. So, if I do that, and I do that, and there we go. There's basically the tail end, the very tail end. And then, I need... Ooh, that's like way too low. I shouldn't have measured. I shouldn't have defined that yet. There we go. There we go. That's much better. That curve will just be defined by how high up I want this guy to be. Basically, how tall do I want that whole thing? think that would fully define us. No, but that's not right. Okay, so let's let's hold the phone here. That tangency is not actually a thing. Right? That vertical is not actually a thing either. It's more like that. Right? It's close to tangent, but it's not quite. It's almost tangent. It's kind of like that-ish. That angle is, I don't know. I'm, like I said, guys, I'm doing a lot of guesswork here. So. We're just kind of going with it. That looks about right. And that might have to just be what I go on is looks. 
And in fact, I think that is what I'm just going to go on here. I do just even 60. Yeah. And then. Okay. Well, that um, was quite the, the one sketch. Uh, now, revolve it um, there. And we have a start. Actually, let's see if we can add the satellite dish to this as well, right? We should be able to. And then finally, in one massive sketch, hey, we have the dish on the front. That actually turned out really well. All right, that looks pretty good. It's not like emptied out like a dish would be, but can I actually, hang on. Let's see if the, the shell command actually works here. It might not because of how, ooh. Now I need the back cutout, which there are two, and they're not that hard, I would say. Looks like I accidentally cut off one of them in my drawing, so I might have to go back and look and see how big it is. The first one is 12 downward. Let's use that reference figure. Going to be an arc, and then we're going we're gonna to have to make a um, reference line there. It's going to be an arc like that. And it's going to be like that. And then we're going to do perpendicular that with that line. And then this guy, I don't know, 35. And then this one is 12-ish. Nah, it's more than that. 15, maybe more. 18, that's about right. There we go. And now, shift E, through all. Uh oh. What just happened there? Oh, that's right. I need to make it um, go all the way down because I'm stupid. Oopsie. Can I do these in one? Should I? I feel like I shouldn't. I sh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Huh? Let's do them in one. It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Um, okay. So shift A. We want 
basically there. Hang on. You let's connect that up. There we go. Shift A, we want like there ish. And then let's connect up that and that. Let's make that like 250. No, that's it needs to be like way bigger. 350. That's about right. Maybe my measurements were off. Let's let's see if that works. And then there and there. And then I forget what I made this. That looks right though. Um, 37. And then it comes down at an angle. And it's like it's a way bigger arc. It's almost like that. There we go. There we go. And then what's left? Oh, coincident. There we go. And now we're looking pretty good. I'd say that's the main drive bit. That looks really good, actually. It's a lot of dimensioning, but I think we got there in the end. That's not even that's not even all the way done though. We still have more. We have more pieces that need to um go like inward onto it. So there's a piece that goes from this part back into okay let's let's do that part real quick i think i think that'll be fairly easy okay let's just do that and then let's uh mirror that along that Okay. All right. I think we're going to call that, we're going to call that part one and I'll do more in another video because this is getting really long. Like we're, we're at 50 minutes. All right. I think we're going to call that part one. We've been in this one for quite a while. Um, next time we'll do the saucer at the very least. Maybe we'll do the nacelles. Not quite sure, but either way, Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel, every day is a weekend. Uh, check out my website, my Discord, and all that for more weekend vibes. I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye!